Today I'm going to be showing you what wildlife's out and about in my garden. Now the buddleys have been absolutely brilliant this year. Now this one is great for butterflies, but it's also really good for moths. Now that's because it's got a really nice scent, it's sort of like a honey, sort of mellowy sort of scent. But also it's white, which means it stands out in the dark. Now we've got really good numbers of yellow underwings on here, which are really big, chunky moths. Absolutely brilliant. Now I'm going to show you the purple one over here, which is also really great for butterflies. Now this buddley is absolutely brilliant for butterflies. Yesterday, generally in the garden, we saw 25 individual butterflies of 10 different species, five of which we know were actually on this buddleia. Now I can show you some of the butterflies we saw. So we saw peacocks, red admiral, a small tortoise shell, large white, painted ladies, commas, ringlet, gatekeepers, small skipper and a speckled wood. Now the morning after, we actually counted at least 10 painted ladies, which is an absolutely brilliant number for us. This lavender is an absolute hive for bees such as red-tailed bumblebees, bumblebees and honeybees, but also for hoverflies and I can see why they like it, because it smells absolutely gorgeous. Sometimes in the evening or at night, you'll be sat beside the pond and you hear a pop as a frog goes diving in there. The other night there was actually a toad, which was really cool. Other days you'll come up here to open up the garden and there'll be a flutter of feathers and about 10 sparrows go rising up. And actually earlier a darter came well darting in and then it went flying off again which was a bit of a shame the pond really is a center for life now the berberus really is an all-season plant in the spring you get these lovely orangey yellow flowers which in turn are great for bees then in summer you get these lovely purple berries which are really good for blackbirds and other garden birds and now sometimes when you walk in the garden you see lots of little spitter spatters of purple poo due to the berberis. Now as we're getting later into the year the fruit's starting to rot so you're getting all these flies and wasps and things like that which in turn feed the birds. We did actually see a robin in there earlier which we think is probably after the flies. The circle of life. Now Due to the berberis, we've got a lot of flies in our garden. I can show you how many. Because this Saracenia has got indigestion from eating so many. The dark bit are all flies. Amazing. So what wildlife is out and about in your garden? <laughs>